Let's have a look at how to fill text with an image in Canva. Let's jump on it. First of all, I'm going to show you a completely free way to fill text with an image in Canva. And then we're also going to have a look at yet another example, which is a little bit more complex and actually requires a Canva Pro subscription. In any case, if you're using Canva free and would like to give Canva Pro a try, you can always get a 30 day free trial. To activate this trial, simply go to try Canva Pro here in the upper right corner of the screen and then click here on where it says start my free trial. With that free trial, you would then also be able to follow the second part of this tutorial without any issues. With that said, let us now start with the free method. First of all, after opening up a Canva project, on the left side, please click on elements. Then in the search field on top, you can search for letter frames. For example, if I would like to have a frame for the letter D, then I would simply search for letter D frame and then press on enter. Below, we then find the frames category right here. And that is what we need to get the job done. So next click here on where it says see all. And you will then find all the letter D frames right here. To add one of these to the canvas, simply click on it. At this moment, you should obviously already exactly know what you would like to write. So in our case, we're going to write dope here. So D is the first letter of dope. So now we would have to search for the other letter frames as well. And the easiest way for us to do that now is to simply input it right here. So instead of letter D frame, I would simply search for letter O frame. And just like that, we get all the O frames in this list here. As I would like to use the same font here for consistency, I'm just going to click on the first O right here because you can clearly see that this is actually the exact same font. Now I'm going to do that for the remaining two letters of dope as well. And once you have that, it's going to look like this. Now to fill this text with an image in Canva, simply go to photos here on the left side and then find the image that you would like to use to fill this text. In my case, I would like to fill it with a forest image. So on top, I'm simply going to search for forest. And I think this one right here could work really well. So I'll just click on that and this will add the image here to our canvas. And now to fill our text with this image, all you need to do is to left click and hold on the image and then drag it over the letter that you would like to fill. Just like that. Now, if you would like to use the same image for each letter, then you can do that. But in that case, you would first need to go back to photos right here. Then we're going to click on the same image here again. We make it smaller again. And then we simply put it over the letter O. Before you actually put it in there, it's maybe a good idea for you to duplicate the image in the first place. Because the advantage of this will be that obviously you won't need to go back to photos here to get the image again. You can simply take it from here then. So to duplicate this image right here, simply left click on it, then press and hold Alt or Option key on your keyboard and then drag. And just like that, you can duplicate that image. I do that one more time because in total we have four letters, right? And now to fill our letters, we already know how it works. So I'll put that here over O. I will put this one over P. And I will put this one here over our E. And just like that, we have filled our text with an image in Canva. Now we can actually improve on this a little bit. And we can achieve that by double clicking on a letter. And this will show you this view right here. And now we can actually reposition our image here within the letter. So I will move this all the way to the left right here so that the part of the image that shows is the very left part of the image. Once you've done that, you can simply click somewhere outside of the letter and this is now set. And you can now repeat this process for the other letters. Double click on O for example. And here obviously we don't want the very same part to show as we have here. So we will just move this a tiny little bit to the right side. Then we do this with P here as well. So this would be the same as here. So we'll move it a little bit. This would be almost like this, it would be like here. So we will move it a little bit further, something like that maybe. And we will do the same here with E as well. And here we're just gonna choose the most right part of our image, right? Something like that. Another thing that you could do is you could obviously double click on the letter and you can then also make the image here bigger. And this will obviously also drastically change what can be seen within the letter D. And just like that, you can create an awesome text effect within Canva. Now, last but not least, instead of using one image for all of our letters right here, we can obviously also use multiple images instead. So let us go back to photos here for a second. And let's search, for example, for fruits. And we could now use one image per letter to create a really cool effect. So for example, I would fill the letter D here with those berries. Then for letter O, we're gonna have a look for something else.
Maybe these kiwis right here. Then for P we're probably going to take these blackberries right here. And finally for our letter E, let's use these strawberries right here. And just like that we created yet another awesome text with a super fruity fill. Now let us have a look at the second method to fill a text with an image in Canva. The advantage of this second method is that you can actually use whatever font you want within Canva and also that you can easily remove the background behind the text. But in order to do that we will need to use Canva's background remover which is actually a Canva Pro feature. So now let me show you how I did it. First of all press T on your keyboard to add some dummy text. Now I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger. Then double click on the text and then change it to whatever you want. Now select the text and in the upper left corner of the screen you can then select the desired font. I would like to use a font called Bangers. So I'll search for that and then click on it right here. Next press R on your keyboard to add a rectangle. Then left click on the rectangle and then use these bar handles right here to adjust the size. Make the box fill your text. Something like that. After that right click on the box and then select layer followed by send to back. Now our text here is actually in front of this black box. But you cannot see it at the moment because obviously the text has the same color as the box. However the next step for us is to change the text color to white. So make sure that the text here is selected and then at the top click on text color and change it to white. Your text should then be visible again. Next go to share in the upper right corner of the screen and then click on download. Under select pages make sure that just the page is selected that we need right now, which in this case is page 1. Then click on done and finally here click on download. Once it is downloaded re uploaded to Canva, you can actually just drag and drop it in this section right here to upload it. Once you have uploaded it you can actually delete what we have here on the right side and then just click on our uploaded image. Next make sure that our image is selected, then click on edit photo on top and then click on BG remover. Now in the left sidebar go to photos and find the image that you would like to use for the fill. Then right click on the image and go to layer and then send to back. At this point you might need to adjust the size of your image. As you can see in our case the image here is actually a little bit too small and not the whole text is filled properly. So I can easily solve this issue by just making this image a little bit bigger. Just like that. Now left click on your image and reduce the size. This already looks great but obviously we would just like to have the text without any background. So the trick now to get rid of this background is to go to background here in the left sidebar and then we're simply going to choose black as the background color. As you can see we still have this edge right here. You can easily get rid of that by reducing the size here as well. Like this. Now the whole background right here is actually pitch black and it's all the same color. Next in the upper right corner of the screen go to share. Then click on download. Make sure that the right page here is selected, in this case it's page 2. Then click on done. And finally click on download. This will download it as an image again. Then again make sure to upload that new image to Canva again. You can then delete what we have here on the canvas. And from your uploads. Then upload that new picture, right click on it, set image as background and now the final step is to use the background remover again. So click on the image, then click on edit photo and finally click on BG remover right here. 
And just like that we have recreated this awesome text effect with this basketball fill image. If you would like to move your text around now, please don't forget to right click on it and then click on detach image from background. You can then take your text and do whatever you want with it. For example, you can put it over other images like here to use it as a nice heading on a thumbnail for example. Also as it is an image now, you can always left click on it, then click on edit photo here on top and you can then also apply effects and filters to it or when you go to adjust here on top, you can adjust the brightness, the contrast and use all that nice stuff right here. And once you're done with the edit, simply click on share in the upper right corner of the screen, then click on download and then make sure that the transparent background option here is ticked Select the correct page here under select pages, then click on done and then finally download your text with fill image as a transparent PNG by clicking here on download. Don't forget to put the file type here as PNG because if you don't do that you won't get the option transparent background right here. So that's very important. So once all of this is set simply click on download and you're good to go. And that's it guys, this is how you fill text with an image in Canva, both in Canva Free and Canva Pro. If you enjoyed this video, please don't be shy and smash the like button and subscribe for more Canva tutorials. Also you're very welcome to join our free Telegram support group in case you should still experience any problems. You will find the link to the group in the description of this video.